Uh, hi guys, um, my name is Tony Abreu and uh, I live in England, in Dorset and um, I'm doing this some um, testimony than how I came to Jesus. Um, I felt like I have to share it, you know, for for everyone out there, you know. Um, because he is real, very, very real. And um, I just want to make sure that people get to find the truth. People get to to open them, their sense to to things around them. Because in these days we are so so busy or so into the bad news and everything else and then we don't see the truth which is right in front of our eyes. Uh, before I came to, to Jesus, um, I was a party guy and some people who knows me. And I used to sleep around different people and uh, obviously I used to lie a lot try to cover up all of those things I uh, was a heavy drinker and I used to like to drink a lot especially coming to the weekends and I was a smoker uh, I had no much patience at all with anything I will just lose my my temper really quick um, and other things um, things that now it doesn't happen to me anymore um, so I'm gonna try to make the video as short as possible so you get to to hear it the whole thing you know I don't wanna make it long and then people just gonna watch half of the video and so my Everything started about four years ago um, with a dream. So on that night, when I went to sleep, I had a dream. And in that dream, I was like at the back of a house or something like that in a, in a garden. And uh, when I, while I was in that garden, I felt like my body started being lifted up. So suddenly I see myself being lifted up and going up and up. And I look around and I really going like really high. I start seeing literally, I, I start seeing like the map of England and the map of Europe. And, and I keep going up and up and up. Um, for some reason, I was not afraid on the dream, you know. And um, it came to a point that I actually had the whole planet Earth underneath me, you know. I literally could see the whole planet like blue, you know, full of colors. And I was in the really dark space. So when I'm looking down to, because I'm looking at the Earth, Suddenly I felt something, you know. Um, when I look up, I saw Jesus right in front of me. And he was extending his hand to me, you know. And he said to me, you know the truth and you don't follow me. Come and follow me. You know. Um, I wake up on that morning. Um, my partner, she said to me like, then I was crying all night and literally I I I fell the pillow when I wake up it was soaking wet. Um and I, I, I told her, I told her the dream. But she looked at me like kind of like <laughs> thinking that I'm going crazy or something, huh? So from that day, um I used to have a Bible from a friend of mine, he gave it to me back home in Venezuela. And um, from that day, I, I started reading it a bit, you know. At night, before I go to sleep, I used to read a chapter or something, you know. Um, 
but no men no much change after the dream I keep going party I keep going do the things that I used to do and the whole thing the only difference will be like whatever I did if it was wrong uh, I start feeling guilt after that dream so maybe year and a half went by maybe two years went by um, my daughter which at the time she was um, about two years old she was very sick um, she had vomit uh, she was vomiting and she had diarrhea and and she, it was really bad because after four days she still have it and so we decided to take her to, to the doctors and um, obviously the doctors didn't do anything they say that she is still drinking water so it should be fine if she st stopped drinking water to go back but the thing was that she lost probably 700 grams of weight um, which is a lot for for her height and weight at the time uh, she was very pale and literally yellow was the, the skin color you know she was very pale so after after that it passed another two or three days she's still the same so for the first time I I actually pray on that day and and I didn't even pray out loud I was in the room I was about actually to sleep and it came to my mind you know to pray about it and I think it was the, actually the very first time that I pray so my partner was sleeping next to me and I was there well, she, actually, she was awake in that moment. She was next to me, but ready to go to sleep. I closed my eyes and uh, I started to pray in my mind, you know, asking God for for help to 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 do something, because the doctor seems like they're not gonna do anything. So after uh, I was as as I was praying, suddenly I. I hear a voice, I hear this voice, then he said to me, from now on there will be no more illness. And I open my eyes straight away and I and I, first thing I do is to, to tell my partner and I, I told her, you know. And and she looked at me like like literally I mean she looked at me like really you're going crazy, you know. And so we didn't talk much about it um, and uh, we went to sleep it was maybe 10 o'clock at night uh, my daughter was asleep already um, normally I wake up quite early to go to work uh, early meaning like 3 in the morning 4 in the morning and um, on that day while I was at work I was waiting the time that my daughter will wake up so I could ask my partner to to tell me how she's doing you know if she has improved and so about seven o'clock I call her and I ask her how she's doing and literally said she said to me then nothing she has absolutely nothing even the color she went back to the normal color she was eating Again, uh, she didn't have more. Vo she was not vomiting anymore. She didn't go to toilet anymore. And in that moment, I told her, like, so, who is the crazy one? You know, you or me? Because you're telling me that I'm crazy because I hear a voice. But then, I hear a voice who tells me she's gonna be cured, and she is cured immediately. Um. So, after that, I thought to myself you know what I really need to to get to church to look for some guidance you know because obviously you need a bit of guidance to to he head you in the right direction you know so I went to a church which I really didn't feel anything I don't know I felt like it's not the right one and from that one then I went to another one and 
I felt I felt better at that church. It's a Pentecostal church here in Dorset. Um, so I went in that church and I I was in that church for about three weeks. Over those three weeks, you know, I started praying daily, reading the word daily. Um, and it, I was getting like a good connection with God, you know. I was still new in the whole thing. I didn't know much. And even sometimes I, I have doubts that maybe, maybe I am, I'm imagining things. Maybe she got better. But that voice was just my imagination. Because it did cross my mind, you know. But then... After three weeks, when I when I be going to that church for three weeks, my daughter one day she was asleep in the afternoon, so I thought to myself to um, to go and pray for a bit. So as I I was going to pray, I decided to come back to grab my Bible so I could read something first, you know. So when I grab my Bible, I start heading again to the room to pray. I say, well, God, um, I really would like to to read you something. Something that you really like. Something, some of your favorite verses in the Bible. And out of nowhere, I just hear this powerful voice. Like, really, like, powerful voice. With a lot of authority, but with so much sweetness on the voice. It was so sweet, the voice. Really hard to, to explain when you have power, authority, and sweetness and all together. And it was so loud, the voice, that I even bent my head because I just, I mean, I, I couldn't believe what I hear, you know. In that moment, I thought to myself, he say, what is it? I mean, am I really imagining things or is it real? So I say, God, if that is really you, I'll let this Bible open. And you asked me to read you Psalms 33. So the Bible should be open on Psalms 33 because you're the Almighty. So I let the Bible open and obviously it was Psalms 33. And in that moment, I really like, I fell down on my knees. I I literally weep. Um, and I realized that God is very, very real, you know. Um, and that he, he's always sh telling you things daily, you know, in different ways, you know. He spoke to me. Um, and to some people he don't speak. I don't know. He he has his ways, and he's almighty. And he decides what he does and what he doesn't. You know. And if he, I know he spoke to me because I have things to do for him. You know because he he already revealed to me. And um, to some people he's speaking a different ways. You know through a friend, through a video like this video here. So, yeah, so on that day, also, after I weep, going back to the testimony, on that day when I weep, um, I went to check on my daughter after I pray and everything. So when I'm, light, I'm lying down next to her, because, you know, she was tiny so sweet so I lie down next to her to to watch her sleep you know so peaceful you know and when I'm about to just hit the the bed with my head I just faint in that moment and while I faint I was kind of like awake still but I could not control my body um so I, so I couldn't control my body and 
I could hear that I was speaking a different language. Um, and the most amazing thing was that while my ear, my head, my ear, didn't understand what my mouth was saying, in my heart, I understood everything. And literally it was like the Holy Spirit intervening between God and me. He was like... I was being baptized in the spirit, really. And then, after I wake up, I I feel totally different. From that day, I, I really, really changed. I really didn't want to do the things that I, before I was doing, you know. Because over those three weeks that I was going to church and I was getting to pray daily, I did try, you know, to, to stop doing the things that I shouldn't do. But it was hard. But on that day, then I would go baptize on the spirit. Then it was like, it was like a glass that it break, and there is no more glass. So there was no more feel, feeling for do those things. I didn't feel like I really want to do those things anymore, you know. So it was li literally like bring. I was being freed from it. Um. So this is pretty much my my testimony. Um, um, there is other things that happened from that time till today, um, but um, I'm not gonna get into it because it's lots of things, and and I just wanted to to highlight the most important ones. Um, uh, so I write down some stuff here, but just so I don't forget. Um, you know, um, you know, after all of that, um, I come to see that sometimes you go on the street and you see people preaching on the street, saying things, and you might even think, oh, that guy is going crazy, or he's crazy, you know, talking about God in the middle of the street, screaming, but you actually don't, you do not know what happened to him, you know, just like what happened to me, I mean, it has changed my life, and, and uh, some people out there, you know, when when you have an encounter with God, it's really, really powerful, um, and I'm inviting you if, if you're not sure, because what, what I'm saying now is the truth, I'm not, I'm not gonna sit in my car, uh, for I don't know 20 minutes or half an hour to talk about something that, that didn't happen or it wasn't real you know it's, it's nothing to my advance to do something like that um, and uh, what I want to say is he is very real and while you are alive you should try to get to know him you need, you need to call on his name uh, so that he might come into your life. Um, if you never pray, well, I invite you to pray, you know. You don't really need to, to know much about praying so you can pray, you know. You can talk to God like he's a friend of yours, you know. I know I know some people pray to, to trees. Like the other day I was driving and I saw this woman putting the hands on the tree and praying. Um, which I think, I mean, I do think some people is really, literally is going crazy praying to a tree, but hey. Um, so you should actually pray to, to the one who make, who has made that tree and made this planet and made the whole universe. That is the one you should pray to. And I invite you to, to pray to him. And when you pray, just ask him to to show himself to you, then ask him that you want to get to know him, you know, um, because he's very real and today we are here, but if tomorrow we die without Jesus in our life, then it won't, it won't be any everlasting life, but he, he pay a, a price on the cross so that you might live forever, you know, um, and as crazy as his son, you know, 
I'm not saying that I want to die, but I really can't wait for the day that it happens so I can see him face to face. That is, that is ha hand in the heart. Um, so, in the end, in the end of the day, um, you have nothing to lose because if he is not real and you follow him and you die, it will be the same thing than than if you wouldn't follow him because nothing will happen. But if you don't follow him and and you die and you don't follow him and he is real then you have lost everything or you you will not have that gift of eternal life um but i'm telling you that if you really with all your heart you really look for him and you really pray like like you really mean it um he will show himself to you might be in different ways he might not speak to you um but um he might put someone on the way to speak to you so so well um all the thing um so all the thing because i know some people um they say, oh, they, they get it into religion, you know. But Jesus is, is not about religion because religion is not going to save you. Catholics or Protestants or or Pentecostal or Baptist or any of those, no one is going to save you. The only person who can save you is Jesus. And it's not about religion. It's about having a relation with him. And when I'm, I mean a relation, I, I really I really say a relation because when you pray, you can even feel his fire sometimes, you know. You can, you, you, you can feel all, all the goosebumps. You can feel, you can feel like he, he put force in your mind and you sometimes think, where is this force coming from, you know. So, I invite you. Don't lose your time, because I think that the times are getting shorter, you know, times are passing by quick, and um, it will be good for you to, to have Jesus in your life, like I do. So, I hope you enjoy the video, I hope that at least make you think, and um, if anyone wants to ask any questions or anything just um, put in the comments or leave me your email or something and uh, I will be happy to to answer any questions if I can if it's possible and that's it so thank you very much and um, hopefully I will put some more videos in the future and and have a blessed day okay.